Hey, Pastor Steve Walter, I hope you're having a great day or night whenever you're joining us. Thanks for being here. We're so glad. We're looking at English Bible translations and we're at the complete Jewish Bible from 1998. Just getting some stuff off Wikipedia. One thing I learned about this, I think I've done a review. I never knew till this, if this is accurate, paraphrase of the Jewish Publication Society of America version, Old Testament, and the Greek New Testament text. Of course, used by Messianic Judaism. And so, when I push, you know, it's got it in blue where you can do this. Um, it's got where you can uh, look at all this. And so... It says of the complete Jewish Bible, it's Old Testament Masoretic Text, New Testament Greek, 3rd edition, UBS, 1975, Ancient Greek Source Manuscripts, with Modern English and some Yiddish expressions. It does say it's dynamic equivalence, which isn't, you know, I wouldn't say that's a paraphrase per se, but it is a loose translation, so to speak. And so the complete Jewish Bible, sometimes referred to as the CJB, is a translation of the Bible into English by David H. Stern. Now, I know many of you like it. You guys have told me this. And it consists of both Stern's revised translation of the Old Testament, Tanakh, plus his original Jewish New Testament, Brit Hadasha, translation in one volume. It's published in its entirety, 1998, by Jewish New Testament publications. Remember when this came out, it was very popular. The Old Testament translation, well, here it is. It's a paraphrase of the Public Domain 1917 Jewish Publication Society version. Although scholar Bruce Metzger notes that where Stern disagreed with the JPS version, he translated from the Masoretic text himself. The New Testament section is Stern's original translation from the ancient Greek. Stern states that the purpose for producing the complete Jewish Bible was to restore God's word in its original Jewish context and culture as well to be easily read modern English. So that's good. Intended to be fully functional for Messianic Jewish congregations, which are still pretty big. I remember back in the early 2000s, really big, maybe 90s too. Stern follows the order and the names of the Old Testament books in the Hebrew Bible rather than those typical Christian Bibles. He uses Hebrew names for people and places such as Eliehu for Elijah, Shaul for Saul, the work also incorporates Hebrew and Yiddish expressions that Stern refers to as Jewish English, such as matzah for unleavened bread and mikvah for ritual immersion pool or baptistry. So there you have it. That is a complete Jewish Bible by David Stern. Learn something about that. I never knew the Old Testament was a paraphrase, but he did translate from the Masoretic text when there was a disagreement. So God bless. Hey, thanks for being with us today. Pray for us. Share with your friends, family, neighbors. Put it on social media. Hit the bell notification when you subscribe and join us daily. Talk with you later. God bless. Bye-bye.